people are beginning to realize that his work was seminal. Kohdistaa nämä jutut siis henkilökohtaisesti jollekin yksilöille, jotka useimmiten ehkä on semmoisia väärin ymmärrettyjä, sorrettuja ja, ja, ja niin kuin, jotka kokee niin omaa elämänsä ja menee jollain tavalla pieleen. Tom of Finland died two years ago, but his work, which unflinchingly straddles the line between art and gay porn, is more popular than ever. His vision, though explicit, was never apologetic. Those exposed to his work found the old stereotype of homosexuals being naturally effeminate increasingly hard to swallow. I find myself on the street sometimes looking at a particular kind of young man with a deep-set eyes and high cheekbones and big full lips, what we think of in the States as a kind of white trash look. And I immediately think, pure Tom of Finland. I, I make that reference to his art. Tom was born in Finland in 1904 and raised at home by his strict schoolteacher parents. With no outlet for his forbidden fantasies, he began drawing pictures of the local farmers and lumberjacks he lusted after. He developed his skills at art college and got a job in an advertising agency, concentrating on what he describes as his dirty drawings in his spare time. <laughs> And it was in such magazines that Tom's work began to filter out of Finland, connecting an invisible network of gay people throughout the world. Well, of course, these days, Tom of Finland's all over the shops in postcards and sort of high-class art, art compendiums. Um, first time I came across him was probably about 20 years ago in some much-thumbed, shabby piece of pornography that had been smuggled into Britain, probably in somebody's dirty laundry from Amsterdam. They were basically wank books. I mean, that's, that's what they were. They were, they were providing um, imagery for guys to get off on. It put a friendly face on eroticism that was extremely important. Even at the time, people laughed about the, <laughs> the exaggeration of the, uh, of the various physical attributes of the people he depicted. <laughs> But that didn't make it any less erotic if, if you had it in hand while you were masturbating. And I suppose Tom of Finland's greatest success is in the States. Um, that's where his, his imagery leapt out onto the streets. And you could actually walk down Christopher Street and see guys that dressed and behaved like and strutted like something out of a Tom of Finland image. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that he's um, he's created a dramatic blueprint for for gay men to model themselves on. It, it, it's a positive image. It's it, it's a celebratory image. It's an image. It's a guiltless image. You would in the room, Mellen, and that time, that time, that young man, that impulse, yeah, see, and that you go, I get that. And I get that, you go, I'm more sad. How should we view his work? Uh, your personal views on what he meant politically to the gay movement, what his significance was. Oh, God. <laughs> Just I, forgive me if I laugh, you know. Oh, okay. It was porn. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't see... Um, well, let's start over again. Where do you go? Oh, my God.